In this video, we're going to learn how to find the area, the volume, and the total surface area of a triangular prism. Now the question reads, the diagram represents a triangular prism of length 19 centimeters. The triangular cross section has sides of length 10 centimeters, 11.3 centimeters, and 14 centimeters, and a height of 8 centimeters. Now, before we begin this video, like the video and subscribe to the channel. So they give us a diagram that represents this triangular prism. Now the question goes on to say, calculate for part A, they want us to find the area of the cross section. Now how do you think we're going to go about this? Well the first step is we must identify what type of shape this is. The question tells us that this diagram represents a triangular prism. Now once we know it is a triangular prism, we're just going to use the formula to calculate the area of a triangular prism. Now because we're dealing with a triangular prism, there are two parts we must remember. I'm just going to redraw this prism. Now the two parts is going to be known as the cross section and the second part is going to be known as the length. Now the cross section is going to be the triangle piece of the triangular prism. So we know this is the triangular piece. So let's shade that in. And because we know this is the cross section, we're just going to write cross section. So this side or this part of the triangular prism is going to be known as the cross section. Now the second part of this triangular prism that we must know is going to be known as the length. So the length is going to be from where the rectangle starts to where it ends. So this side is going to be known as the length. We're just going to label this length. Now that we have the two parts of this triangular prism, we're now able to solve this problem. So for part A, they say the area of the cross section. Now to calculate the area of the cross section, let's find where the cross section is on this triangular prism. We can see the cross section is going to be the triangle. Therefore, to calculate the area of the cross section, what do you think we should do? Exactly, we're just going to take the area of a triangle. And the area of a triangle is half base times height. So let's write that down. For part A, we know the area of the cross section equals half base multiplied by the height. Now let's look at our triangle and find the base and the height. So if we look at our triangle, which is the cross section in this triangular prism, we know the base is going to be 14 centimeters and the height is going to be 8 centimeters. In the question, they also tell us that our height is going to be 8 centimeters right here. So we're just going to substitute these numbers into our formula. So we know the base is going to be 14. We can write area equals half. The base is going to be 14 centimeters. We're just going to write 14 multiplied by the height. And we know the height for this triangular prism is going to be 8 centimeters. Now we're just going to use our calculator. We could say the area equals, we're just going to put the fraction 1 half in our calculators, multiplied by 14, multiplied by 8 equals, that's going to give us 56. And the units is going to be centimeters because our sides are in centimeters. So the area of the cross section is going to be 56 squared centimeters, which we know we're going to write as 56 centimeters squared. Now for part B, they want us to calculate the volume of the prism. To calculate the volume of the prism, you're just going to use the formula 
volume equals half base times height times length. So let's write that down. For part B, the volume So the volume of the triangular prism is going to equal half base multiplied by height and we're also going to multiply by the length. Now if we notice this formula which is half base times height is the same formula as the area of the cross section. So sometimes you might see the formula written as area of the cross section multiplied by the length. It's the same thing. So let's find the base, height, and the length in this prism. We know the base and the height is going to be 14 and 8 because we know 14 is going to be, and we can see this in our figure as well, we know it's going to be 14 and 8. So we're just going to write volume equals half. For the base, we have 14. For the height, we have 8 multiplied by the length. Now for the length, that's going to be the second part of this prism, which we know is going to be this side. Therefore, when we look at our diagram, we can see the length is going to be 19 centimeters. They also tell us in the problem that the length is 19 centimeters. So we're just going to write multiply by 19. Now when you put this in your calculator, you can say the volume equals 1 over 2 multiplied by 14 multiplied by 8. We know we're going to get the answer 56. So we're just going to put 56 multiplied by 19 in our calculators. Therefore, the volume equals 1064 cubic centimeters, which we know we're going to write as centimeters cubed. We're just going to write our answer back. We know it's going to be 1,064 cubic centimeters. Now for part C, they want us to calculate the total surface area of the prism. Now to calculate the total surface area of the prism, we're going to use a formula. I'm just going to put a box around the formulas we have used so far. So for part C, the total surface area of this triangular prism equals base multiplied by the height plus the perimeter and we're talking about the perimeter of the triangle multiply by the length. So this is the formula to calculate the total surface area for a triangular prism. We must remember this formula. Now let's find the base and the height in this problem. So let's start to solve for this. The total surface area of a triangular prism, we're going to write it as TSA, equals the base multiplied by the height and we know for this problem the base is going to be 14 and the height is going to be 8 so we have 14 multiplied by 8 plus we have the perimeter of the triangle and we know when we look at this triangular prism now the perimeter can be found by adding up all of the sides in the cross section and we know the question tells us that the cross section has sides of length 10 centimeters, 11.3 centimeters, and 14 centimeters. So remember, this is going to be one side. This is 10 centimeters. This side right here, even though they don't give us the measurement, we can see that this side is 11.3 centimeters. Therefore, this side is also going to be 11.3 centimeters. And finally, our last side, which is the base, is going to be 14 centimeters. 
So when we add this up for the perimeter, we know the perimeter is going to equal 10 plus 11.3 plus 14. When you put all of this in your calculator, 10 plus 11.3 plus 14, that's going to give you 35.3 centimeters. So this is going to be the perimeter. So let's write the perimeter inside of the formula. We know P, which is the perimeter, is going to be 35.3 multiplied by the length. And the length in this problem is going to be this side, which means we have 19 centimeters as the length. We're just going to write 19. Now you can put all of this in your calculator once you use the brackets, or you can break it down step by step. So if you was to break it down step by step, the total surface area is going to equal 14 times 8. That's going to give us 112 plus 35.3 times 19 equals 670.7. Now when we solve for this, we're going to say 112 plus 670, and when you put this in your calculator, you're going to get the answer 782.7, and we know the units is going to be squared centimeters. So this is going to be our answer for the total surface area of this triangular prism. Now we're just going to write the answer for part C which we know is 782.7 squared centimeters. So this is how you solve a problem anytime they give you a triangular prism and they want you to find the area of the cross section, the volume and the total surface area of the prism.